I put my real name on there, Mark Hardy. Mark Hardy, that's my real name. I didn't put buttercream pie, you know? That sounds like some a hooker, some street name, doesn't it? You know? I use my real name. That's my God-given name. But people think this is a show or something. It's it's all an act. This is the judgment of God happening right now, and you want to use little, uh, say, uh, like hot chocolate. You know, I like use that for your name. It doesn't make sense. A lot of comments from that one thing when I ask people, you know, when we're on a topic trying to share and edify the times that we're in, because somebody did come in and I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, but somebody did come in and they had like a stage name that they use rather than their God given name. Okay, so when I see names like Deaf Bread, uh, Drop Till You're Dead. Hot chocolate. The stage name that they use. The stage name that they use. Stage, stage name, name that, they that they use. Rather than their God given name. Rather than their God given name. name. Okay, so when I see names like Deaf Bread, uh, Drop Till You're Dead, Hot Chocolate, when I see names like that, and then they drop a bomb in the middle of our our uh, live videos. When they just come out in the middle like that, and then they say things like, you know, I'm a widow, kids, please help if you can. You know, because that's, that's, that's it, like dropping a bomb. Please help if you can. Yeah, you because know, that's, that's, that's a, like dropping a bomb. And all of a sudden, nobody's talking about what we're talking about. That's like coming in, and the enemy does that. They come in and try to disrupt the truth when we're trying to focus on things. They disrupt things that's not polite. It's not kind. And then when I have to look at the name, okay, what name is this? Who is this? And why are you saying this all of a sudden? They're not even a little bit trying to come in and get in the conversation. They're totally coming in and trying to destroy the conversation. And they maybe they're not even aware of it. You know, but I had to uh, remove it. I had to remove it, stop it. You guys, it's gonna be things like this. This is what makes it to where I don't even wanna come on and do stuff anymore because it, I look at it like this. If everybody ain't where they should be, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. If everybody ain't where they should be, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. If you're not following and acknowledging the word of God, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, but yeah, the enemy will just pop in here and they'll say things like that and uh, just totally change the topic because they don't want you focusing on our faith. You know, staying focused on the times, the things that we're seeing. See, we're talking about what the world is not talking about. We're talking about what we ought to be talking about. Please help if you can. And so when somebody comes in and they try to distort or change that, it raises a red flag with me. They're trying to get us to disconnect from ourselves, you know, from who we are in Christ. Yes, that's what they're doing. When they come on with those different names, their stage names, you know, that's the world, okay? 
We don't do that. Okay? But that's what the world does. But that's what the world does. The world will have little side names and stuff like that. Little, you know, make you feel good kind of, you know. That's the world. Remember, we got to recognize what the world does. Because you can see it. God didn't make us ignorant here. But we got to really try the spirits, man. Okay? And try to be gentle, as it says. You know? But be careful, okay? You guys, be very careful. If we got to do... We're in this together. Okay? And that's what we're here to do. We're here to acknowledge God's might and power. But we're also knowing... God made these things, but he didn't make them where, you know, we can, if we acknowledge the truth, God's word tells us, you'll know the spirit of the world, because they're going to be using and talking worldly ways. You'll know it when you see it. Because they're going to be using and because talking, they're going to be using talking worldly, worldly ways. ways. You'll know it when you see it. You'll know it. Remember, you got to recognize what the world does. Ways. Because you can see it. God didn't make a segment here. Okay. All right, you guys. God bless you guys. I'm going to tell you guys something else, man. I've even been seeing little kids spitting their tongues out. Uh, the Lord knows who they are. I think we've got a lot more newborn... Uh, the Lord knows who's who. He knows who's who, you guys. I hate to see it. But I mean, they, they did it right in front of my face. Little, little children. It's not even about accountable age. It's about, it's about who they are. What the spirit that's in them, you know. And when I see these little kids turning to look at me and spitting their tongues out. They're sheared. Their minds are totally sheared. 100% sheared. Yeah. <clears throat> but I told them I wouldn't donate to the, uh, the Olympic thing that they're doing for the hand, you know, the mentally. I said, you know, they need to be learning about Christ. They need to be learning about God. Please help if you can, you know, because that's, that's, that's like dropping a bomb.